Today we're going to make pop art people prints. The other day you guys had lots of fun playing Roll a Herring and you created all kinds of crazy Keith Herring inspired drawings. Once you've got a composition you really like, you're going to tape it to a piece of styrofoam. Please make sure your name is on the back of the styrofoam. It should be on a piece of masking tape. Then you're going to use a pencil and trace it pretty hard. If you hold the pencil on an angle and not straight up and down, that really helps. Also, make sure the pencil's not too sharp because sometimes that will rip or tear the paper. But if the paper tears, it's not the end of the world. Then you're gonna take the tape off and you'll see all the lines you drew have been pressed into the styrofoam. Sometimes you need to go over them one more time just to make sure those lines are nice and deep. You want to make nice, crisp, clean white lines when we go to make our print. I know it's a little time consuming, but trust me, it's worth it in the end. Now that we're ready to print, we're going to take our bench hook, some ink, spread it on the bench hook. Then we're going to take a brayer. We're going to roll the ink with the brayer, making sure that the brayer gets nice and covered. Then you're going to roll the ink over top of your printing plate. That's the styrofoam that you carved into. Make sure that there's an even amount of ink across the whole thing. It should be a nice, bright layer of whatever color we happen to be using that day. Now you're going to carefully place your printing paper over top, making sure your name's on the back. Give it a little rub with your hand. You can also take a clean brayer and roll it with the clean brayer. You would, don't want to use the one you just had ink on. Then very carefully peel it back, and voila, nice, clean, bright pink print. Now, once your printing plate is dry and clean, you're going to take one image from that plate and you're going to very carefully cut it out, making sure you don't cut off any extra limbs or anything like that. We're going to use this to add a contrasting color to our original print. So carefully cut it out. Make sure you're not cutting out something that's got lots of detail. You want a fairly simple shape. Now we're going to use a different color of ink. Once again, roll the ink onto the brayer. And then very carefully this time, you're going to roll it over whatever it is you cut out. Be careful that you don't accidentally roll an arm up into the brayer or something like that. Also make sure you're putting the ink on the right side so that it fits right perfectly where it was before. Then carefully press down. I'm putting a clean piece of paper over here and just giving it a good rub. That way I'm not messing up any of the other parts of the print. Then very gently pulling up. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Pull it up and you have this really nice contrast to our original print. I can't wait to see yours when they're all finished.